Здравствуйте, товарищи! This is Russian for your eye. Yes, I am actually Russian. A lot of people were criticizing criticizing me for uh, probably being a fake Russian. Но я вам могу сказать, что я на самом деле русский, поэтому можете заткнуться. Uh, but uh, really, though, um, I am uh, bringing you guys another gun review. And uh, it is, um, I filmed only five yesterday, only five, so I had to uh, take care of this one today as well. Uh, and again, these are uh, not filmed but recorded uh, because the footage is actually old. Uh, I apologize, it's at 480p instead of 720p. Uh, I try to expand it, uh, you know, graphically and try to enhance it with a few uh, encoding tricks, but uh, I don't think that worked. So uh, either way, this is the, um, I did the jackhammer review yesterday, uh, and oh wow, I just spawned right from where the camera was, that was awesome. But um, uh, I did a review for the jackhammer, so I thought it would be uh, right to do the review for the uh, M4 Super 90 right afterwards, and um, they, these two are direct competitors as far as I'm concerned, uh, because they're both NX, they're both shotguns, and they're both uh, semi-auto. But uh, there are distinct differences, and this one I own for perm, this one back when it came out, I got it for perm because it's like, holy shit, this is an amazing shotgun. Since that, it, it had been nerfed a lot, but not enough to make it obsolete. It's still, I, in my opinion, the best one in the game. So here's why. Uh, this is a, um, it's meant to be used at very close range, even closer range than the uh, jackhammer, because it's a two-shot kill point blank, or at least like nearly point blank, you know, where your uh, barrel is about, you know, six to 18 inches from their ass. Um, two-shot kill, three shots in all other, uh, all other close-range situations, uh, unless they're low on health or wearing like a recon vest or some shit. And then this would be considered long-range for a shotgun already, but uh, at uh, long-range, the damage does fade off. And it does um, it does drop off quite significantly, even more than the jackhammer. But you know, considering they're both shotguns, they still drop off way more than assault rifles and snipers and even SMGs, etc., etc. So um, this does have less damage than the sh uh, than the jackhammer, or jackass hammer, or whatever the fuck you call it, um, because that one's a two shot kill almost anywhere uh, until you start getting to the longer ranges. Uh, but what compensates it is that it does have a lot faster fire rate than the jackhammer. Um, be advised. The jackhammer does not take shit. If you miss, you're done, you know, uh, while here, if you miss, you still have another shot right coming up, you know, very quickly um, to kind of finish them off. So the fire rate is very forgiving on this gun as well. Um, and what else is very forgiving is that the fact that it has larger spread. So for one, if you do not hit the center of your target, you will still hit your target because, you know, you aim it at a wall, it'll coat the wall with uh, pellets. So that's a, that's a plus. Um, also, it's it's a plus in the fact that at range, although the uh, the minus is that the damage decreases much more at range for this gun, uh, because the grouping is much more spread out and less pellets are technically hitting your target because they're you know all to the side of him her. Uh, but it still gives you if you're aiming up for the upper body at range, it gives you a much greater chance of scoring a headshot because the pellets are going to be more all over the place. So the odds that a couple of them might hit the head much higher than with tighter grouping. So that I actually really love because it is a very forgiving shotgun. So if you're like me and you suck with shotguns and you're not a very good shot on things that are just kind of individual shots, you know, uh, I would suggest this over the jackhammer. If you're a sharpshooter that just goes, you know, balls deep in the family cat and is just like, you know, scoping people out like instant reflexes, like your muscles are trained to, you know, ninja style fucking you know, cut people's throats without anything but your hands. Uh, if that's you, then the jackhammer's probably your gun, but be prepared to have to, you know, live with a potato cannon in your hands um, that that takes up half your screen. That's another positive about this gun, is that it is so small you can actually see the right side of your screen. And, you know, that's, that's always helpful. By the way, the private in this game is hella good. This is definitely not his first account, just saying. Uh, <laughs> it's and that and I suck. But uh, don't worry, I know how this game is gonna turn out. And trust me, it is better than me being in last place. So um, either way, the uh, this this shotgun is a it's a pretty chill gun, really. You can see range headshots. It really really likes its headshots. This is if I were to label any shotgun a headshot machine, this would probably be it. Um, and that is definitely a good thing uh, for shotguns, considering you do need to uh, put up with. You see that shit again. Um, you need to be able to put up with uh, people, you know, using the SMGs on you. This is a shotgun-only uh, game, so that's a little more forgiving. Otherwise, I'd get wrecked. I haven't used this thing for a while. But uh, either way, the um, reload for the shotgun is another thing that I really love. Unlike the jackhammer that uses an ammo cassette, which is essentially a box mag put into, like, a drum box mag, 
put into its ass um, that, you know, it takes forever to reload and you cannot shoot the jackhammer while reloading it. This one, you feed each shell individually in, so the overall re reload time from zero shells to, I believe, the max here is seven, might be longer than if it had been a box mag, but you are still able to shoot. Look at the bitch trying to ambush me. That's what you get. Sit the fuck down. Ho! Oh. But yeah, um, the, the, you can fire the shotgun while reloading it. So, you know, you, you, you put in three shells and you see a guy, holy shit, bam, he's done. Oh yeah, cool, I'll just keep reloading here, don't mind me. You know, that kind of shit. So, I love that. I reload instinctively. You see that after every kill, as soon as I see that, you know, 14 kills pop up on my screen, insta reload, you know. And that, so, that hurts me more often than it helps me. That bitch is just like, I'm done with you. I am not even gonna begin to begin. But, uh, that's okay. I will find her. And I will destroy her genitals. Anyway, uh, so it is also very portable. Um, I noticed that it's a lot more portable than the jackhammer, at least it feels that way. Um, and no, I don't look at the stats of these guns before reviewing them. A lot of reviewers are like, oh yeah, it has a uh, 35 damage and it has 67 portability. And, uh, you know Nexon lies about, I mean, I'm not taking a shit on other gun reviewers by no means, but you know Nexon lies about their gun, gun stats. Like, yeah, my fucking REC7 supposedly has a better fire rate than an M416 CQ. No! No, no, anyway, so, or something like that, that was a rough example, but you get my point. So, uh, either way, it's a very portable gun, very, very good for running around with, and with shotguns like this, I definitely suggest packing a lot of light gear, I'm wearing a Declan here, I believe, and, um, wearing a Declan, that sounds rough, but that's okay, <laughs> that's fine, uh, but, uh, the, 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 it's good for running around with, and, um, with shotguns, you want to run around, you want to know the map, this map, Fortunately enough, I know, even though uh, this is a combination for worse, worse for me, because I absolutely, yeah, I pull a neener neener here and just, you know, uh, get shafted by this guy who just comes into the game. It, it is a four-man, one-man army, so that's why the video is so long. Uh, but don't worry, I'll keep you entertained the whole way. Just put your confidence in me, I will not fail you, I hope. But uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the map you do have to know... Uh, oh god, my stomach's trying to jump out of me. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. The... Uh, this map I know I don't know how I've played not too many games on it I don't like it. This is a combination for worse like us of worse like I said uh, Not one of my favorite maps now one of my favorite gun classes at all I'd say I'm the worst with shotguns of anything else pistols snipers machine guns, whatever uh, Terrible with uh, this overall of those uh, and also it's a one-man army I fucking hate people coming up behind me every single moment of the game so I basically said fuck it and started coming up behind people, and that seemed to work pretty well. So know the map, know how to parkour around it, so that you can flank your enemies. See this shit, this guy doesn't even know what's- oh wait, never mind. There's a different moment. This- this is where I fuck up. There's a different moment, I'll tell you when it comes. But, uh, you- it's always best with shotguns to come up behind the person, because if you can land the first shot behind him, I explained this in my jackhammer video, as they're turning around and you land the second one, odds are they're dead. So they don't get to put off any shots towards you and you're that much more chlethier, uh, with your chleth, um, than you would have been if you were he going head on. Um, so, always a good idea to, to, to go with, you know, in, in shotgun games at least. Um, and to be honest, this, in this game, there's a lot of people, well, the, yeah, see this? Bam! You know, come out, better than if I had come through the doorway, you know? Good to know the map. Although I don't know why there's a hole in there. Uh, that, that sounds like a lawsuit to me if this was a somebody's house, uh, but, because <laughs> I'm an architecture student and you're supposed to put railings around that shit, just saying, uh, I think it's a minimum of, uh, 36 inches high too, the railings, uh, I'm, I'm actually not sure about the building code, wherever the fuck this map's supposed to be set, but either way, I'm not gonna bore you with science, uh, because science is boring, uh, and, uh, although Aerogel is fucking awesome, shout out to Aerogel, that shit is amazing, um, and no, that's not a masturbation implement, but either way, the, um, uh, this 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 map is just just fucking dicks for me. I don't know why it's relatively long range So for shotguns it's not very good and these guys are all carrying like custom except for the guy in the white the guy that joined late He's carrying s the regular old. I believe it's the m590 or whatever the hell it's called uh, That's a pump action. He's just a peasant, but uh, we I've got the m4 super 90 this bitch has got a golden spaz This other guy. I don't know what the hell he's using, but it's also fancy But I say that my gun is better than all of them Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do so good because you see the Saiga, for one, for one thing, the Saiga series can go eat a dick, I do not like that. Eh, this guy's carrying a spaz. Um, spaz, not as good as this. Um, Jackhammer's the closest comparison, still not very good. AA-12, I'm not a fan of, to be honest, in this game, I mean. In real life, it's a fucking badass gun, but in this game, not so much. So, oh yeah, here it comes. Good old memories from Counter-Strike. Oh my god, terrorist win. Uh, but really though, 
Um, as for uh, the Comet Arms, uh, Nexon is being a bitch again. They're trying to bribe us to play the game by giving us all these sev fancy seven-day guns. Um, that, and this video wasn't taken during this point. This was a long time ago. Uh, but um, and as a gun reviewer, it's annoying because I feel the need to make a review about every one of them, which doesn't work out. Uh, but um, you know, they give us all these seven-day guns. Like, oh yeah, play your game, play your game, and here we'll let you get every month a new uh, NX gun that you could get for for nanotechs and shit. Uh, that's all great, but at the same time, they. They, they're desperate to get their players back because people don't want to play this game anymore. Then they refuse to quit making overpowered guns like fucking, fucking, uh, dual scorpions and bear peas and shit. Uh, at the same time, they're nerfing old ones, so getting perms isn't even a good idea anymore. And it's like, it's like, I don't know, it's like a broken, bankrupt, middle-class family, you know? It's like, uh, oh, you know, the kids are starving, but Fluffy only eats organic. You know, you guys gotta give, like, really. Uh, that's just my rant to Comet Arms. Maybe somebody, one of the devs, will watch it and be like, you know, this kid actually makes some sense and stop making fucking ridiculous guns that uh, recon vests ruin this game just as much as Specs and Dual Scorpions did. Take it from a recon vest owner. When everything becomes so fucking fast you can't hit shit and you have to have, like, more than lightning reflexes, it's it gets hard to play the game recreationally. You have to be on, like, every day practicing your fucking Comet Arms skills. It's kind of bullshit. But either way... Um, I really do support, I think there was a movement on the forums a long ass time ago that I think ended up failing, although it was a good one, um, uh, for, uh, classic game mode. Like, a game mode where you have, like, weapons and gear and maps back from 2009. Like, you've got your MP5s, you've got your UMPs, your regular AKs, M4s, etc, etc. And the, the more, the most advanced you get is probably the shotgun or some shit like that. Um, and there's no recon vests, there's no tanker vests, there's no specs. There's none of that horse shit, uh, and you just run around with classic gear. I would play that literally on a daily basis without stopping. That would be an amazing game mode. But uh, little did we know, Nexon has to make money somehow, and that's you don't make money by keeping the old guns good and the new guns bad. Because nobody's going to buy the new guns. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the rant. If you didn't enjoy the rant, then go ahead and hate on me. I My body is ready. Um, then this guy gets shafted from behind. Bye-bye. Um, and I hope you found it helpful. Really, I hope uh, you now know what shotgun is for you. If it's not this one, hopefully at least it uh, it helped you decide. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, likes, uh, Tuna Fish Productions on Facebook. Follow Russian Freak on Twitter. Subscribe, like, you know what to do. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. More content coming soon.